All right, we shouldn't be putting all of our eggs in one basket, nor should we be putting all of our dollars in one bank. Two is one and one is none, and that counts for banks too. If you've only got one spot where you've got your money, you might not have any. Uh, let's take a look at where we might consider some in cash. I don't recommend too much in cash. Um, fire could burn it. Thieves could take it. Uh, but yeah, sure. Having some in cash, you do want to have some for your bug out bag, some for your get home bag, some in your wallet. You want to have some cash distributed in a number of different places so that way when you do need some cash, it's there. You've got the opportunity to get it. But you should definitely be spending some of your some of your paycheck here on your supplies. Uh, they will cost some money, you know. Buying your food, buying your uh, your tools, buying your ammunition, buying whatever it be, and that's a spot that yes, you should definitely be putting some of your money there. Items of value are also very useful to have. If you are in a situation where you need to barter, maybe if the dollar did crash in value or something like that, it's helpful to have some items of value. You know, if someone doesn't want to take cash for some reason, it doesn't hurt to have something that's there of value. Now, these items of value, I do recommend that they be something that you can use as well because you may never end up trading them off. It's good to have something that you can actually use. Uh, but definitely do. You know, there is some good use to having money in banks, and I don't mean a safe deposit box. That defeats the purpose. That's, that's cash. In a sense, it's not insured. And if the bank is not open, you can't access it. So, in the account where you have the advantages of the banking, where you can transfer it, where you can pull it out of different ATMs, where you have those advantages, it's good to have some in the bank. That way you can write a check if you need to. <clears throat> and investments. Are, it doesn't hurt to put some money in there and you know throw it in. If you think a, a, a company is a good stock purchase or some commodities or some foreign currencies. Uh, real estate investments are probably one of the better things I would think for a prepper to get into because then you can have bug out locations. Uh, if you have money to put it into real estate investments, that's something to consider. But uh, investments, it just depends on how things are, are doing. You know, right now I'd be very cautious with my investments. Uh, but yeah, you know, you do definitely want to have some cash around, but not, not a lot. But do have some and have it distributed among places. You know, your bug out bag, and perhaps not actually in your bug out bag. That's one of those things that's an item of value that I don't keep in the bug out bag. I have a video on what not to put in your bug out bag. That's one of the things that I say, don't do that. Have it in another spot that's secured. Have it in the safe in your house. And put it on your bug out grab list to grab that cash. Have it for your bug out bag. Perhaps everything in your safe that's of cash. You should probably take that a lightweight bundle that you would bring into your safe and have that be your bug out item. So those are just some ideas here, and the idea though is to keep it distributed. I use banks plural. It's helpful to have more than one. That way if something happens to one, you've got another one. And investments too, plural. Thank you for watching.